all welcome to the stream. That was the save point theme from Kirby Superstar, composed by Joni Shikawa. Move things around slightly here. Open up VBLS so I have a source for all my sheets. Ugh. Oh. Man, it's been real nice out the last few days. It is absolutely nutty how warm it's been for January. <laughs> I've been able to take walks in a t-shirt the last three days, <laughs> which is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, feel free to shout out requests for chat or whatever else. What have we got otherwise? Ooh, that one is a good one.
That was Fall in Love from Earthbound Beginnings, composed by Hirokazu Tanaka. This is Excite Bike. Yeah, we can do one of those. <laughs> tune was called Track Edit from Versus Excite Bike on the Famicom, composed by Soyo Oka. Yeah, we can do Frappe Snowland, that's an old classic.
was Frappe Snowland or Sherbert Land from Mario Kart 64, I believe, composed by Kenta Nagata. Hey, Maisie Daisy. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for the, for the words. Uh, I can do some Mario Party 3 stuff if you'd like. I've streamed some recently, but there's plenty of other like map themes and such I haven't done in a while. I suppose chilly waters would be seasonally appropriate. Chilly Waters from Mario Party 3, composed by Ichiro Shimakura. Uh, yes, yes, I don't know anything from Minecraft offhand. Uh, if you type exclamation point SL uh, in the chat, you can pull up a list of the tunes that I know offhand. Good night. Is that radiator really making that loud a noise, or am I hearing it through my headphones? No, it's just that loud. <laughs> I thought it was coming through on this. It might be, but like surely not as loud as I'm hearing it. Let me see, what else have we got? Hmm, we haven't done anything Kirby yet, aside from the opener. Oh yeah. <laughs> Got that from uh, Retro Palooza, I think was the name of the convention in Dallas a few years ago. Uh, what's 
one I haven't done in a while. That's always the question, Amazie. <laughs> As I literally just said. <laughs> um, I'm not going to do cutscene music. Let me see. Uh, I haven't played this one at least since uh, last year. That's the stage from, uh, or the stage theme from White Wafers, Stage 2, from Kirby's Return to Dreamland, composed by Hirakaza Ando and or Jun Ishikawa. Yeah, we can do the Rainbow Road theme from Wii. Let me look it up real quick. Whoops.
That's the Mario Kart Wii Rainbow Road theme, composed by Asuka Ota. Hmm. Gotta love that, uh, that key change. I really love that work, that walk up. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what you call that movement, the B7 to the D. I could attempt Crate's Lair, it's going to be messy. Mostly because of that ending bit. Not that part. We'll give it a shot, at least. Crate's Lair from the original Metroid, composed by Hirokazu Tanaka. I can, I guess, do like a bit of improvisation over the Mario World Game Over theme because it's it's all of three measures.
That's the Game Over theme from Super Mario World, composed by Koji Kondo. Yeah, we can do Don't Hurry. Don't Hurry, one of the minigame themes from Mario Party 3, composed again by Ichiro Shimekura. Looking forward again to seeing that game released on NSO. Though not necessarily, look, not necessarily looking forward to the lag uh, on minigames like Ridiculous Relay, where you really need to be precise. <laughs> Actually, I'm not thinking of... No, Ridiculous Relay is the one where you're in the machines and doing random mashing stuff. I'm thinking of Frigid Bridges, I think, or something like that. I don't know if that's the right one either. That may be the name of the one from Seven that's similar to it. Okay, so clearly that is the right name then. Uh, uh, I, you know, I couldn't say Bum Buddy. Uh, maybe, maybe in high school when I was first doing like ensemble stuff back when I was doing like classical lessons, it was real fun to come together as a quartet. Uh, I mean, obviously now that, now, now that I've been more involved with playing with folks in jam sessions and whatever, I, I really want to get better at like that side of things. Um, so I've been like trying to bone up on those skills. One of these days I'll, I'll come up with a better uh, regimen for repertoire because that's that's where I'm really lacking um, as far as the jazz side of things at least. Uh, I'd like to think I have like a decent coverage of video game standards at least. If nothing else I get to look at like all of the sheets that we put up on VGLS through the editing process. Uh, yeah. Let me see what else have we got. I think I'll pass on that CHR because I sort of played that last time and it, it's another really short tune. VGLS has been really nice in just learning what makes a good lead sheet because <laughs> uh, uh, my old ones that I did back in like 2013 through 16 or whatever were bad. <laughs> like some of them were really bad. Uh, 
I've, if nothing else, I've I've improved my ability to to learn new tunes just by virtue of having a better pipeline for doing those sorts of sheets. Anyway. Yeah, whoops, that's not the right tune. No, we've done Mario Party stuff. Let's continue doing Mario Party stuff. Uh, the 3D World theme, do you mean like the first level theme or like the title screen? Uh, I can do either. It's got lots of toys. Uh, the Toy Dream theme from Mario Party 5, composed by Aya Tanaka. Yeah, we can do the Mario 3D World title theme. <laughs> tunes where four sharps really is a little bit of a pain.
That's the title theme to Super Mario 3D World, composed by Mahide Yokota, Toro, uh, Minigishi, and Yasuaki Iwata. 3D World's great, man. I'm glad that the Switch version got to expose it to a whole bunch of new, uh, new folks. There's a couple of things near the top of my queue that I will definitely get on VGLS this year at some point. Because it deserves more than just Super Bell Hill. Even though that one is quite good. Chain Link Charge, compo uh, composed by Koji Kondo, also from Super Mario 3D World. Yeah, 3D Land's got some really good tunes in it as well. Honestly, 3 3D Mario has never missed. One, one can uh, quibble about rankings all one wants, but they're all good games.
the beach level theme from Super Mario 3D Land, composed by Mahito Yokota. Now let's take a break from the Marios for a bit. Hmm. There's a lot of great underrated beach themes. Both the new soup ones are great. But we said we're taking a break from the Marios. Now what else have we got? Feel free to shout out any of your own requests, by the way, and don't don't feel the need to pick non-Mario stuff. We can focus on whatever we want. I'm just trying to think of something different.
It's The Wild Red Yonder from Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, composed by Shoko Sakai and Megumi Ohara. fit that on one page. Title theme from the Great Cave Offensive Mode in Kirby Superstar, composed by Jun Ishikawa. Got. 
played this one in a long time, I don't think. Sunglow Ridge from Paper Mario Color Splash, composed by Takeru Kanazaki, Shigemitsu Goto, and Fumihiro Isobe. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs>
That's Stellar Skies from my original album, Super Piano Adventure. Or at least the best as I could remember how to play it. <laughs> it's been a bit. That's the city theme from Sim City on the NES, composed by Soyo, Soyo Oka. Mm. Anyone else got any requests? <laughs> Thank you. 
It's Piranha Plants Lullaby from Super Mario 64, composed by Koji Kondo. So we can attempt Sotopolis. Sotopolis City from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, composed by Go Ichinose. we got here i could take a handful more requests if anyone's got any I meant to play one sheet, and then I started playing a different tune entirely.
Dark World theme from uh, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, composed by Koji Kondo. Boy, that last part always gets me. Really? That seems ridiculous. attention next time, I guess. Let me see, what else have we got? for those little bass parts. Uh, that's Air Rally from uh, Rhythm Half and Fever, composed by Tsunku.
That's the Mendia theme from Super Smash Bros. Melee, composed by Hirokazu Ando. This one in quite a while. Tune is Fossil Falls from Super Mario Odyssey, composed by Naoto Naoto Kubo. Uh, I can take a couple more requests if you have any. I'll be wrapping it up pretty soon.
That is suspic suspiciously hard to just uh, read off the sheet. That's the B Plaza theme from the the Wii. You know, the the the, the millions upon millions console seller, uh, composed by Kazumi Totaka. Let me see here. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and cut it off there. We'll do the usual one more. Let me see. What's a thing? Yeah. Whatever my eye lights on first favorably. Eh, we've done that. Uh, we've done that pretty pretty recently too. We've probably done this recently too, but whatever. I like it. We'll end with it.
Sand Canyon 3 from Kirby's Dream Land 3, composed by Joni Shikawa. That'll be it for the, the, uh, the stream tonight. Uh, I plan on streaming something tomorrow. I know I didn't get around to doing a gaming stream last week, but uh, I do plan on doing something tomorrow. And... Yeah, in the meantime, I'll, I'll be trying to keep up the weekly schedule. We'll see if I end up having to switch to Tuesdays later on, but for now, Monday nights should still be fun. And uh, I'll see you guys around. <laughs>